Hey y'all, um, I know you're looking at this title going, geez, really, follow-ups, like that's all you want to talk about? Um, I am so serious when I say you have got to get a follow-up system. For those of you that are new and you're looking for ways, um, like you're in that rut, like you took off right out of the gate like a derby horse and you did amazing the first um, couple of weeks or months or whatever, and um, your Scentsy business was going great and everything was all fine um, and now you find yourself in a little bit of a rut, um, a little bit of a slowdown. Um, I hate to say it, but I'm just trying to prepare you for the couple of months that are coming ahead with summer vacations and things like that. It's going to slow down even more. So I promise, I promise, like if I, I cannot stress it enough, I did four years of Scentsy, four years, and I never had a follow-up system. Um, not a good one anyway. I would like, I would just write down when I contacted them and then like, like in my planner and then like a couple months later I contacted them again, that kind of thing. But it was nothing consistent. There was no method to my madness really. Um, but until I found this follow-up system, I'm telling you, it has revitalized my entire business. And I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. I don't know why I ignored it for years. And I don't know why, um, I just refused it. But I'm so glad that I finally, um, have done it. So, I'm just going to try to quickly explain it, explain it to you all. If you use the search tool in this um, thing and type in follow-ups, it'll bring a video I did back in early March. Um, I posted Katie Farner, who's a superstar director out of um, Florida's. I've posted hers. Um, you can go to YouTube. You can look up Katie Farner or Megan Merlin is the one who originated this follow-up system. She's amazing. Um, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It's, it's not enough just to call or message or whatever your customers and say, hey, like your Scentsy, do you need more? It's not enough. You have to be consistent. You have to be, you have to have a, a, a system so that you don't come across as annoying your customers because, you know, we don't want to think that follow-up, follow up, I cannot talk today, that following up is annoying them. It's not, but you need to find a method of contacting them so that you don't turn into annoying them because you can't annoy somebody. If you're contacting somebody every week or every two weeks about ordering Scentsy, that's annoying. I can promise you that's annoying. So, I'm just going to quickly explain to you the follow-up system that I am using that Megan Merlin created, that Katie Farner has done um, um, training zone. I've done one on this team. I'm showing you guys what I have now. It is business changing, and I, I promise, I don't care if you started four years ago, ten years ago, two weeks ago, two days ago, get a follow-up system. I recommend this one, but there are many more on the YouTube channel. Um, Find one and use it. Okay, so quickly, um, I got this binder off Scentsy. It was, I think, nine bucks called the Scentsy um, Voltage Binder. It is a mini binder. The dividers that I have in the inside are um, Target brand Up and Up. Up and Up is their brand. Um, pocket divider pockets, and they're really hard to find, especially in Greenville. Um, but if you're in Virginia, I think you can find them. But anyway, you cannot buy them online. The Avery ones that are on Amazon do not fit. Trust me, I've been there and done that. These are Target Up and Up pocket or divider pockets. And for a mini binder but you can use a regular binder system to do this I just choose the small one because it goes in, um, in my pocketbook and I can carry it around with me anywhere so okay quickly um, need to be ordered I have a little section right here so I know that I've got the party going in that I need to order for those all right ordered so when I order them I pay put them together if it's a party I keep it in here okay pending delivery um, this means somebody's either ordered online, so PWS, like every day I get an email, that, or not every day, but when I get an email for um, PWS, I will take a, just a regular sheet of paper. I don't waste my order forms. I just take a regular sheet of paper, half it, cut it in half, and I write what they ordered, and I put it in pending delivery. And I check my orders every day to see when um, the PWS orders are going to ship out to them, so I can message them and say, hey girl, your order's coming Friday, be on the lookout for a UPS box, white and purple, you know, whatever. So pending delivery, then the ones that I have... Um, the ones that I have ordered, when it comes in and I've packaged them all up, I put them in here. I move it here to pending delivery. Sometimes it takes a day or two before I can actually get it out to my customers. So pending delivery is here. All right, so on my form, and you can make labels for this, but I'm just cheap and I handwrite it. But on my order form, I write DEL, which stands for, I know this is backwards, y'all, I'm sorry. DEL stands for delivered. One week, one month, three months. My handwriting's atrocious, so just ignore that. So it's already, it's been well over a week I need to message her but the only reason I haven't messaged her about this is because she she ordered again before she even got this order so um, I was kind of waiting to tie that all together but anyway so she's in my one one week slot my one week um, pocket folder right here so I need to contact her in one week from delivery okay um, and when I contact her I just say hey I hope you're liking your Scentsy have you had a chance to open your Scentsy do you like it um, and I'll you know try to be specific about what she ordered one week then after I contacted her one week I move her to my one month mark 
my one month folder. In here, and I even write down you know, that I, con she, I delivered on 4 7. I contacted her one week later, was 4 15. One month later would be um, 5 15. So that'll be like what? It's Monday. So I know I gotta contact her on Monday. When I contact her on one month, I say, I hope you've been enjoying your Scentsy. Um, I even have another video up here called Follow-Up Conversations and like what I say to them at what time frames. So I'm just asking her or telling her I hope you enjoy your Scentsy. Um, if you need more, please let me know. I'm not looking for a sale, but I'm just letting her know that I'm there if she needs me. Um, how did you like that uh, by the sea? Have you given that a try yet? Love it. Um, and I mark down that I talked to her at one month. So, or yeah, that I talked to her at one month because I want to keep up with when I'm contacting them. So I don't, co I come across as caring because I do care about them. I value my customers. I want them to know I care about them and I love them and that their satisfaction is important to me. But I don't want to annoy them because I know how that feels. I buy from a lot of direct sales people and I buy from a lot of companies out there. And I have some companies that never follow up with me ever. And I have some companies that follow up with me to the point where I don't shop from them anymore because they're aggravating. So don't be that person. Your follow-up system will help you to not be that person. So, one month mark. After I contact her at one month, seeing how she likes her stuff, if she needs anything, she can give me a call. I move her to three months. Three months from delivery date. So this girl's delivery date was um, April 7th, so three months is May, June, July. So I won't contact her again until July. By July, three months, she should need some Scentsy. So that's when I go in for the kill, or go in for the sale, really, I should say. So I will ask her, um, I tell her, I hope you've been enjoying your Atlantic air and you're by the sea. They're perfect for the summertime. Do you feel like you need any more? Um, I know you're probably ready for a re-up. How are your light bulbs? You know, do, have your, are your warmers still working for you? I don't know. Just ask. Just start a conversation. Just be personable. Um, get to know your customers. Let them know that you care about them. That's, that's what's so important about this, y'all. You're a consultant. You're an independent consultant. And your customer service is everything in your business. Everything. You have to let your customers know that you care about them. A, you really do have to care about them. This is not just like a, a putting on a front. You're not acting like you care about them. You do care about them. If you didn't, you wouldn't be doing this business trying to make the money. For me, it's my full-time job. This is what I, what I do to make a living, so I have to have good customer service. And I do care about my customers, and I do value them. So at three-month mark, they should need something by then. If they don't, if times are tight, um, you know, they don't don't quite have the money for it or something like that, A, you should be offering them to have a party to get it free and half off. Or B, you should be offering them the opportunity to make some extra money on the side if they're in a bind. But if they still don't order from you, you move them to the one-month refollow-up. At the one-month refollow-up, that's one month from the three-month mark. So if they didn't order from, she didn't order from me in July, I'm going to contact her in August. That's one month later. If she still doesn't order from me in August, there's probably something going on. But I'm going to move her to the three-month follow-up. So this, this will be actually six full months from the first time she ordered from me. People use Sensi more than that. And if they don't, they either have another consultant or their light bulb is out or some, there's other, some other reason for it. And that's when you really do need to be offering the buy, host, and join um, opportunities. If they can't buy, maybe they can host. If they can't host, maybe they need to join. Or vice versa or whatever. But um, and then this is how, And then once they reorder from me, their form gets put in the back back here that I need to file, and I put um, start them a whole new form, and they go all the way back to the beginning to ordered, pending delivery, one week, you know, so forth and so on. Just like that lady at my one week mark, she ordered from me again before I could even get to the one week mark. So I have another form for her back here or in the pending delivery because I need to deliver it to her. Anyway, this is my Scentsy everything. This goes with me everywhere. I have a mobile office, but it also fits inside my purse. When I'm sitting, you know, at a drive-thru line waiting for my food, I can contact somebody. If baby falls asleep in the car and I have to, you know, leave, sit the car running, I um, get out my folder, my binder, and I start doing follow-ups. But y'all, this, since I started doing this in February, I started mid-February, and, um, you know, I have four years worth of customers <laughs> that, I, that I haven't followed up with like I should. But um, don't overwhelm yourself. If you're brand new, you shouldn't have any problem backtracking, but don't overwhelm yourself. Like for me, I'm not going to backtrack four years and try to follow up with those people that, that's crazy. So I just started because I was mid February. I just backed up to January and got all those order forms out and started this whole thing from scratch. And I pretended like I had just delivered the order to them and did the whole one week, one month, three month. But that was only, you know, like a month, six weeks time. So, but I have seen a, a tremendous change in my business since I started the follow up system. This is the 113 method, by the way. There is a 222, but that's two days, two weeks, two months. To me, that's too much. Pun intended. So the 113 is much more manageable. Um, I do follow-ups about two to three times a week. I'll just grab my notebook when we're sitting, you know, the kids are asleep and I'm sitting there watching TV and I'm not really watching it. I'll pull out my notebook and follow up with a couple of people. Or if in the morning while I'm drinking my coffee, I'll follow up with a couple of people. But I know a lot of you all work other jobs. I get that. Um, you know, even when I worked as a full-time librarian, I would, um, when I had a different follow-up system, I would do my follow-up system at work on my lunch break or your 15-minute break or whatever. My husband's coming in, so just 
ignore him in just a second. But anyway, get a follow-up system. I'm telling you, it is very important to your business and it will change the way your business runs. So um, those of you that are stuck in a rut, you can't get people to buy from you right now. Keep in mind, um, Christy and D, or D, <laughs> Dusty, I um, am talking to you guys specifically because you had mentioned that you were kind of in a rut and wanted to know where to go from here. And I, you know, I'm not laughing at you, but I'm just giggling. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I just got started. Like, don't start freaking out about this yet. When you've been in it like a year and you're starting to go, where are my sales? And that's maybe when it's time to freak out a little bit. But y'all just joined. So concentrate on building your customer base right now and letting your customers know you care about them with your follow up system. Make those samples, pass them out, ask your current um, customers for referrals. When you contact them and they say, no, I don't need anything, thank you for asking, you say, great, if you have a friend who needs um, some Scentsy or you have a, your boss, need, whatever, just ask for the referral from them and then you can give them like a, a big sample or a scent circle or something um, as a thank you referral gift. They don't care as long as it's free. Um, but anyway, ha think of a referral plan and have that in place so that when people do refer you for you know sales or if they prefer somebody to join your team, then you have something to give them. But seriously, get the follow-up system. If you want more information on it, be a little bit more in-depth. If you have more time later, go to YouTube, Megan Merlin. Last name is M-E-R-L-E-N. Megan is M-E-A-G-A-N or M-E-G-H-A-N. I don't know. Anyway, she's the creator of this 113 system, and it's great. But um, go ahead and do it. I promise right now when we're getting ready to go into the summer months when things are going to slow down, you're going to need this follow-up system in place. Have a great rest of the day. Bye, y'all.